Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about practicing. Certainly practicing a pain that you did some time ago and said, I like that, I'm gonna do it again, and again, and again, and again. It's called practicing. And that's what this painting is all about, practicing. So here's a beach scene, a uh, summertime beach scene. I'd like to be there. Of course, I'm in the middle of a rainstorm right now, torrential rainstorm. What better subject to paint than a beach scene where I'd like to be right now? So what I do is my daily practice. I take a full sheet of this is Kilimanjaro watercolor paper, 140. And I cut them all up into little six inch by nine inch little practice pieces. There they are, right? Six by nine. And now I'm ready to go. I have them all spread out on my table, big brushes, my Holbein acrylic paints. I'm ready to take that same painting and do it over and over and over. So not only do I become familiar with the painting and the subject matter, but my brushes do as well. So we're all like, oh, we've been here before. Let's keep going. And that will build up incredible confidence when you do many of them. No wonder we're all so afraid of doing a painting when you do it one time. But when I have like 20 more times to do it, I'm gonna paint it with a lot more, a lot more gusto and uh, just more confidence. So this is a daily practice that I do. Sometimes they're simple objects, sometimes they're beach scenes, sometimes they're abstracts, but I do at least 20 of these every day as my warm-ups. I suggest you do it too. You see here, I've got them all cut up, ready to go. I can't wait to get started. All lined up, ready to go with my big brushes, not tiny brushes, big brushes, big bucket of water. And now let's get started. So for my practice pieces, these are just six inches by nine inch pieces. You'd think I'd use a small brush. No, <laughs> big brushes. You get the painting done a whole lot faster. Everyone says, I wanna be loose. Well, you get loose by using a big brush, not these. With these little ones, you'll find yourself tickling the little painting. Ding, 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 boring. Let's have fun, the reason why you became a painter in the first place, because it's like way too much fun, right? So big brushes. I have them taped down. I do a series of them, one right after another. Big bucket of water on my right side, because I'm right-handed. Don't have this stuff all over the place. And I only need to go to one place, right here. So we'll start off with the clouds. This will be the beach scene and uh, we'll just see how it all turns out. Beautiful clouds. At least they're clouds in my eyes. We're not trying to duplicate everything. Oh gosh, no. See how many different ways I can do the same thing. I'm gonna have a low horizon line. That way it's mostly a painting of the sky. And so now the ocean, well, it's usually pretty dark way out there. Way out there. So I'm gonna do another one, another one. You see, when you're in production like this, you're not thinking about all the little detail, details. I changed the blue a little bit to a lighter blue, compost blue. The other blue was the ultramarine blue. I add some more white in here. Oh, look, here we get into that Caribbean, the Bahamas ocean. Uh, see how much more haphazard the brush mark gets to become. And you let some of that orange peek through. I know you're going to ask the question, why orange? It could be any color. I prefer orange because it, it allows this light, warm color to peek through. Now I'm going to put some sand in here beginning. See how loose you can start off with? Just a big brush. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you, it doesn't take long to do 20 of these. Now let's get this guy. Since you're here, I may as well do it. And I'm going to continue on. And the next time you see me, I'll have more of them done. But this is how I get started. Okay, great way to get started. Always start loose, wild, crazy, and you let some of that orange peek through. That's what gives it its je ne sais quoi, as they say. So continuing on, these have dried. Let me show you the next step. So here we go. I get some blue up there in the sky. Using that big brush again. Thinking about the, the clouds down there and the Bahamas and the Caribbean. Beautiful. I really like to make it dramatic. No kidding, right? I'm not com covering up the orange completely. Again, that's what gives it, for me, it gives it a little more excitement. I'll do one more here. I'm not going to be doing all of these right now in front of you. <laughs> you want to see more? Now the bottom. I have to stand up at this point so I can see the straight line, the horizon line. And notice I'm staying in all the paintings. Don't just stay in one place. Work all over. It's a great way for me to stay loose. Now I want to show the edge of the ocean and that's going to be a darker blue. And that's what I'm doing right now. Again, using the same brush. And I'm standing up so I can see the straight lines. Where the ocean meets the sky. There we go. Push it down. Using the same brush. I'm gonna get some ocean colors down in here. More of a green color. This is where I have a chance to play around with different lights and darks like this. Looks like little waves in here. So I'm going to continue the waves. Lapping against. Now here, I want it to be ground. So lots of, there we go. Gesso. Gesso is opaque. And that makes these colors more opaque. Oh. Add a little pink to the beach color. And a whole lot more white gesso. Now I want to get into the clouds here a little bit. Whoa distance also gives me a chance to make that line straighter <laughs> and let's get some more clouds going in wow Whew. more white puffy cumulus clouds So you notice I start off really loose, really loose at the beginning. Whoa, don't want that. That's a happy accident. Thank you very much. You don't freak out, you just go, well, fantastic. 
I'm gonna make the sky a little brighter, more white. some of that color down into the beach area. I'm going to let this dry. And what I want to do next is add a palm tree and a person underneath the palm tree. Makes sense to me. And again, big brushes, big brushes. Let this part dry. Work on all of them, all at the same time. I'm letting that dry. Add in a palm tree and a person underneath the palm tree. Let's let this dry right now. So I've gotten the other paintings up to that same level. Clouds, ocean, water, sky. Now I think it's time to put in the palm trees. That's where I want to go anyway. So let's just... Since they're all kind of the same. There we go. And I don't want them to be the same. So I'm adding some other colors, browns, into this. There we go. And now the palm fonts are kind of funky. I actually paint them the way they actually grow. This is a two inch American Journey brush, flat. They're all not gonna be just great. <laughs> They're kind of funky tr trees anyway. With all the wind, I try and show their personality. And let's go over to this one here. And they're all, right now I have them all the same color. See the nice thing about the uh, flats is I can create the ends of them. How they taper off. So I don't need any small brushes. Lots of excitement here. Now, we have that part. I want to get it to be a little bit brighter. Get some color up in here. It's important that you don't make them all the same color green or whatever color you're using. That's what gives it its personality. Different colors. I'm even going to put in a little bit of red. How dare me put in some red? Well, it's because it's a painting and I think about this all the time. Different colors, so it's not so isolated. And besides, I like color and I suspect you do too. See, a little more excitement to it. And now the best part is let's put a figure in there. The figure, it adds some human interest, which is basically a head, the back, the back coming down, usually the knees up, down like that. I'm gonna do another one. The head, the back is bending over, usually at a, the beach, the legs. I'm overemphasizing this part. So you can't miss it. This one here too. The head, back's bending over, the legs are up. And now let's put a swimsuit of some sort on him. And this will be the only warm color. 
the focal point. Cool, huh? There's no detail in here. You don't you don't need details. The, the mind and the imagination will complete the whole painting. And now the shadow in the sand. Usually a blue-ish color like that. Not a whole lot of detail. Just enough to let the viewer know that this is a person here. Something's going on here. Softening some of this with just water. Not too much detail in here. So they're basically light little paintings to practice and everyone's slightly different, and that's your job is to make everyone different, but still the same theme, the same series. And by doing them over and over and over, you become more relaxed, more confident about where you wanna go. This is the best way to teach yourself how to paint. You do more than just one. When you make one, you get nervous. This better be the right painting but when you know you have 20 more to go, you're a little more relaxed and educated. So you don't read a, you don't learn about painting by reading a book. You learn about painting by getting in there in the studio and doing many of these over and over and over. That's the best suggestion I can make for you right now. And they're all not gonna be great, but some of them will be real winners. I can't wait to see you on the next Bob Blast. I hope this has helped you to learn to paint more than just one painting. See you on the next Bob Blast. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and we're going to the Bahamas this February. I cannot wait to go there with you. Can you imagine doing a workshop, painting by the beach, by the poolside for five days of painting? I cannot wait because it's most relaxed. I call it a paintcation. Can you imagine painting every day? But there's the bar, there's the beach. We're right there. We're relaxed and we're creating wonderful paintings in this incredible Bahama aromas the florals and the, the wonderful aromas of the, of the food cooking and the ocean right there, fresh air, and perfect time of the year to get away, right? And to have a great time. It's my favorite place. I call it a paintcation. What a great name for it, a paintcation. And we're going to be painting loose abstracts. Wow. So I'll see you there. And I cannot wait to paint in the Bahamas with you.